Okay, so this is the second part of our chemical testing or chemical knowledge. So for the for the test kit, this is what you get: uh, the four-way test kit with your pull handover kit, along with the uh, leaf skimmer and broom and so forth for the cleaning of the pool. Now the the test kit. The only thing we suggest that you need to use in this is the chlorine tester. Everything else you can test at the pool shop and your pH obviously we've seen is checked and monitored by your chlorinator. So for this one, chlorine is red on this side. So we're going to be filling up this side of the dial for our water test. So all I need to get from this test kit out of all these bits and pieces is the tablets for the chlorine testing and and our water catchment tester. So, and I grab a lid, which I need. So now I, all I need to do is get some water from the pool into here. When I'm doing that, what's important to realize is that our pool returns or the eyeballs that we know where the pool returns happen have got chlorine coming out of them and chemicals coming from the um, pool equipment. So what I need to do is find a place in the pool where there's no eyeballs, which I look around and I find a nice spot over here where there's no returns coming into the pool. And I cover my thumb over the chlorine side because I don't want to get a water test off the top layer of the water because always the top layer of water has less chlorine in it because of the sun's rays removing chlorine from that top layer. So I want to get down to about elbow depth and then I'll take my thumb off and allow the water in. So I'm covering it at the moment. Down to elbow depth. Release my thumb. Fills up. Fills up with the water. And then simply back to my test kit. And Take the tablet, one tablet, I'll put it there so we can see it properly. One tablet out, and I try not to touch the tablet because that will affect the reading. So I just drop that. Ah, there we go. I'm just going to touch that one, but we try not to touch it. They say it affects the reading, I'm not sure how much. But anyway, then once that's in, you can see it instantly changes colour. The other side's got water in it there, so I've tipped that out. Give it a shake, and you can see the colouring coming up. So what I normally do at this point would be to go and find a shady area against a white wall to be able to get an accurate reading so I can compare it with the colours on this side. So in this case, I've got a spot where we can go up here and just have a look against the wall. And we get a better idea. A white wall is perfect, but I would say I'm reading about 1.5 there when I compare the colour of the water to my to my colours of the test kit. You can see there's a 0.1 reading, 0.3, 0.6. Um, one, when you're in this low range, you really need to add chlorine. This one's a little bit low in chlorine, but it's pretty good. 1.5 and up is a good reading. Anything between 1.5 and 4 is a good reading. 2 and 4 is the perfect range. So you want to be up this high end when you're reading your chlorine. So that's all good. I can tip this out and I know that I need to wash that out a little bit. And I know now that I need to add a little bit of chlorine to get the perfect reading for my pool. So what we do, we've got some granular chlorine here. I'm going to apply it into the skimmer box. Very simple. I just get the lid off my chlorine. A lot of the lids on the chlorine will actually have a little uh, indicator saying how much chlorine exactly you're putting in, 100 milligrams or 200 milligrams. And you don't need to put a lot in if you've only just a little bit off. You know, you might need to put only um, 50 or 100 milligrams in to change that chlorine reading. And 
So then I can just tip, I'm just gonna do it by eye here, but I can just tip a little bit in like such. And best not to put too much in because we can always add more. I can run that then through my system, put the lid back on, I turn the pool on, I run it for maybe three or four hours and then I can do another test and if I'm still low I can add more or if it's a little bit high it will filter down anyway but um, as long as it's in that nice range that we're looking for then we're set to go. Important thing is for that, for sanitation purposes, that chlorine, it's the main thing you need to look out for with your pool chemical analysis. If you get that too low, it does become possible for people to get sick. The sanitation of the water is really important. So if you've got people coming over, barbecue, party, then best to check the day before or the morning of and get it right before the people come, before you have uh, friends swimming in the pool and big groups so your water's right to go. So in this case, water's good to go. We're gonna run this for a few hours and it'll be perfect.